Good evening. <coughs> Good evening, candidates. Good evening, candidates. When I come today, we'll be discussing about English. So, whatever that comes to my eyes, yeah. So, first thing is, yeah, Ramya Ranganathan. Good evening, welcome, Ramya Ranganathan. Good evening, welcome. Yeah. To start with, first, uh, Adisaya Samuel, good evening, Manakam. Ramya Ranganathan, Manakam. Prabhu Pichaya, good evening, good evening, Manakam, Manakam. So today I will start with uh, say commonly misspelled words. First, I will give you a dictation of 10 words. I will give you dictation of 10 words and uh, you write in your notebook or you can write it here also, no problem. Immediately you can write it here. You can type it out here. Afterwards, I will give the correct uh, spelling. You can check it. Very simple. We will go like this. First spelling, then synonym, then antonym. Like that we will go simple. First word, acceptable. 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 Acceptable means Tamil Lachona in Arto, Daude, Utukola Kodia De. Acceptable. Please write the word. I will give the spelling afterwards. Acceptable. You, you can put number one now. You have written, doesn't matter. Prabhu has already written, no problem. Next word, when you type, you put uh, one acceptable. One acceptable, yeah. Number two, accommodate. Very simple words. Accommodate. Accommodate. Number three, accommodate. Accommodate. Very simple. Plus, write with the number two, accommodate three. Acreage. 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 Number three, acreage. Number four, aggressive. Aggressive. Number four, Aggressive. It is not encourage, it is acreage. Acreage means extent of land. Aggressive. Aggressive, that was number four. Number five. Calendar. Calendar. These words are mostly misspelled by students. Calendar, calendar, number six, no, no, one, two, three, four, five, six word, cemetery, cemetery, six, cemetery, 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 
सिक्स सेवन कमिटेड सेवन कमिटेड सेवन कमिटेड नंबर एट कंग्रेचुलेट नंबर एट कंग्रेचुलेट नंबर सेवन वॉज कमिटेड नंबर एट कंग्रेचुलेट वेरी ईजी वर्ड ओनली नंबर नाइन कॉन्शियस कॉन्शियस नंबर नाइन कॉन्शियस नंबर टेन गैरंटी नंबर टेन गैरंटी आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू द स्पेलिंग नंबर वन एक्सेप्टेबल नंबर टू अकोमोडेट नंबर थ्री एक रेज आई थिंक दिस पीपल कुड नॉट हियर प्रॉपरली सो पीप मेनी ऑफ यू हैव डन मिस्टेक एक रेज एन नंबर फोर नंबर फोर एग्रेसिव नंबर फाइव कैलेंडर नंबर सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इज सिमेटरी सी एम ई पी आर वाई सिमेटरी नंबर सेवन कमिटेड सी ओ डबल एम आई डबल टी ई डी नंबर एट कंग्रेचुलेट सी ओ एन डी आर ए टी यू एल ए टी ई नंबर नाइन कॉन्शियस सी ओ एन एस सी आई ओ यू एस नंबर टेन गैरंटी डी यू ए आर ए एन टी डबल ई वेरी गुड आई थिंक if is there is anybody who has scored 9 or 10 you could have scored 9 or 10 you can just you say you put your name and then uh cemetery yeah yeah so but i know you heard the uh, you heard that word acreage unless you know the context you cannot get that word acreage a c r e a g e it tells about the area you know yeah now next is very good now next is idioms and phrases idioms and phrases idioms and phrases i will give you 10 idioms oh you can there is no meaning i mean choice is not in one minute i have like to take a question where there are choices yeah okay i have choices durai abhi good no problem yeah no problem good now next is idioms and phrases i will give you one idiom and only two choices i will give you one idiom and two choices cmda messenger interview 251 over na so why why talk about it now if you have done well and good if they take you fine enjoy yeah now this uh, idioms i will read once and give you only two choices you put number 1 and then what is the choice for that you write number 1 to be in hot water to be in hot water to be in hot water choice a to be in trouble to bathe in hot water choice one to be choice a to be in trouble choice to b to bathe in hot water to bathe in hot water next one yeah i can tell you the answer immediately otherwise i will not remember it you put it then i will tell you the answer for that also good number 1 is a 
good number 2 raining cats and dogs raining cats and dogs a heavily b drizzling a heavily b drizzling raining cats and dogs <coughs> Number two, raining cats and dogs. What is the answer? Heavily. Second one, drizzling. Answer is heavily. Number three, the idiom is played ducks. and drakes played ducks and drakes played ducks and drakes the sentence goes like this the officials played ducks and drakes with the public money so choice 1 a collected b squandered ye collected b squandered ye collected b squandered sentence goes like this the officials played ducks and drakes with the public money officials played ducks and drakes with the public money yeah i gave you the answers A collected, B squandered. Answer for that is B. Choice B. Good. Next question number four. Back to square one. Back to square one is the idiom. Sentence goes like this: The issues were settled in court, but. after a few days it was back to square one this is the sentence two choices a to return to the starting point to return to the starting point b to run to the first square a to return to the starting point b to run to the first square question number 4 answer is correct many of you are given correct answer good next number 5 the the idiom is blowing their own trumpets blowing their own trumpets that is the idiom first choice i mean sentence goes like this politicians enjoy blowing their own trumpets choice a to boast about their achievements to boast about their achievements b to use one's own trumpet to use one's own trumpet so is a to boast about their achievements b to use one's own trumpet to to use one's own trumpet very good the answer for that is a good number 6 the idiom is apple pie order apple pie order students must learn to keep their belongings in apple pie order students must learn to keep their belongings in apple pie order choice a 
orderly preparation of apple pie orderly preparation of apple pie choice b in perfect order choice a orderly preparation of apple pie choice b in perfect order question number 6 Question number six. Apple pie order means the answer is B. That is in perfect order. Question number seven. The the idiom is a closed book. A closed book. Scientific knowledge is no longer. a closed book in this 21st century scientific knowledge is no longer a closed book in this 21st century choice a a mystery then choice b a covered book choice b a covered book choice a is a mystery then choice b a covered book question number 7 a a mystery b a covered book yeah next one number 7 answer is a 7 answer is a question number 8 a month of sundays a month of sundays the idiom is a month of sundays choice a a short period a a short period b a long time a a short period b a long time a long time through two choices only i am giving you arsana is not correct the answer for that is a long time then number 9 the idiom is thick and thin thick and thin thick and thin sentence goes like this over the years we remained loyal through thick and thin over the years we remained loyal through thick and thin choice a in spite of all difficulties in spite of all the difficulties choice b to our principles to our principles a in spite of all the difficulties b to our principles thick and thin the answer for that is a number 10 the idiom is live wire live wire my 10 year old son is an incredible live wire my 10 year old son is an incredible live wire so number 10 choice a energetic choice b dangerous 
चॉइस ए एनर्जेटिक चॉइस बी डेंजरस या सो आई थिंक आई हैव गिवन आई हैव बीन गिविंग द आंसर्स देन एंड देयर सो नो सस्पेंस ओके गुड वन मिनट वेर आर बी नाउ टेंथ आंसर इज ए गुड ऑल ऑफ यू वुड हैव मार्क इट करेक्टली नाउ लेट मी कम टू दिस वन दिस इज नोन एस आई थिंक आई कैन टेक सम सेंटेंसेस फ्रॉम माय क्वेश्चन पेपर्स एंड गिव यू रादर देन गिविंग दिस वन ओके वेट अ मिनिट I because this is finding out error unless I give sentence 